Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this conservation of momentum problem, we'll be discussing about how to find the speed of the final cart after the collision between the two. So first off, let's go ahead and write down our variables. So we know that the mass of the first cart, we'll call it M1, is equal to 100 grams, which is not in SI units, of course, so let's go ahead and convert that over right now. We know that kilo means 1,000, so there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, so we'll be moving the decimal place over three. So one, two, three. So that is 0 0.1 kilograms for the mass of the first cart. The first cart is moving at a V, we'll say V1 for cart one initial, is equal to 1.2 meters per second on the frictionless uh, track when it collides with a larger M2 is 1.0 kilograms cart at rest. So it's V2 initial is zero meters per second. After the collision, the cart, the small cart recoils at 8.2, 8.5. So V1 final is equal to 0 0.85 meters per second. What is the speed of the large cart after the collision? So V2 final is what we're looking for. So we know that we have to um, use conservation of momentum. Obviously that's the section we're discussing here. So the momentum of the initial system here has to be conserved and will be equal to the momentum of the final system. So since momentum is conserved, we know that the initial momentum will be equal the final momentum since there's no outside forces acting on it. So we can break this all up here. So P1 initial, or the momentum of the first car, the momentum of the second car initial is equal to P1 final plus P2 final. So let's go even more. So MV1 initial, mv2 initial is equal to mv1 final plus mv2 final. So now we can simplify it a little bit further because the initial velocity of the second car is zero. So this whole value will go to zero. And then we're trying to solve for the final velocity here. So let's move this unit over to the other side. So mv1 final subtracted from both sides mv1 final. Now we have m2v2 final is equal to m1v1 initial minus m1v1 final. So now to isolate the second uh, cart's final velocity, we'll divide both sides of the equation by m2. That goes away, and this all gets divided by M2. So now we have our final equation here, so let's write it one more time just so it's more organized. So V2 final, which we're looking for, is equal to M1 V1 initial minus M1 V1 final, and then that is all divided by, of course, M2. So now we can plug in the values for this. So V2 final is going to be equal to 0 0.1 kilograms. We'll be multiplying that by 1.2 meters per second. Let's quickly sketch out a picture of this real quick. I should have done this at the beginning, but we'll do it right now since we're talking about the numbers here. The cart comes. It has a little collision here, and then the cart recoils and then the cart comes off here. So the initial velocity of the cart is moving in the positive x direction, so that's a positive velocity. After it recoils, it's going to be a negative velocity, and then the second cart's final velocity will be in the positive velocity direction as well. So if we come back up to the top here, we can change the final velocity. This obviously is going to be a negative 0.85 meters per second. Okay, so now when we plug that in here, we get a minus 0 0.1 kilograms since the mass is the same, and then that will be multiplied by a negative 0 0.85 meters per second. And then we're dividing the whole equation by the mass of the second cart, which was one kilogram. And I'm gonna leave that here so you understand the concept, but obviously anything divided by one is the same, so when we plug that into the calculator for ease, we don't actually have to divide everything by one. So we have 
0.1 times 1.2, and that's going to be subtracted by minus uh, 0.1 times negative 0.85, and then all of that gets divided by 1, but like we talked about, we don't have to do that. So the final velocity of the second cart is equal to V2 final is equal to 0 0.205 meters per second, and that is in the positive x direction.